young people often use words like I'm fine, things are grand, I'm okay, not a bother when they're talking about their mental health, which really skim the surface and keep can kind of put up barriers for people to be able to get in a bit deeper. For a lot of young people, it's difficult to talk about their mental health because there's so many other things to talk about, like leaving cert, how they're getting on in their different clubs and uh, things like that. And so we found that 90% of young people have a difficult time talking about their mental health and actually cover up how they're actually feeling. I think the main way for people to get involved in this campaign is really over the next two weeks, set yourself a goal of asking everybody in your life, how are you, and actually wanting to know the answer. I think that's the really important thing. Arming yourself with some listening tips, you know, things about maintaining eye contact, creating that kind of safe space, not asking somebody when you're in the middle of something, but creating a, a safe space over a coffee or something to have those conversations and set yourself the challenge of, of doing that. And I think, you know, not wanting anything else out of the conversation other than to hear how people are feeling and resisting that urge to try and come up with solutions for people. We found that almost half of young people are unlikely to reach out for any kind of support when they're not feeling well in themselves. Um, and so that's why 50808 is there to make reaching out as accessible as possible and as easy as possible at any time of the day.